everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new and you haven't seen any of my videos before, my name is Holly. I am currently just over 19 weeks pregnant with my second baby. My little girl, Novely, is 22 months, so she'll be two in August. So I am most definitely going to need some sort of double buggy to have for my toddler and my baby. So that's what this video is going to be. I'm hope you don't mind I'm sitting on my birthing ball because I feel like it's probably the best place for me to be sitting to film this. I'm hoping I'm not like bobbing around too much and it becomes distracting. Today I'm going to be talking about our new double push chair that we have got. If you have seen any of my videos before you will know we for Novely we used our beloved Mamas and Papas Acaro. I have done a couple of reviews already on my channel with them so I will leave them linked in the description box for you to have a look at. And I do know that a couple of people have purchased them who have watched my videos and love it just as much as we do. But the only annoying thing with that is it doesn't convert into a double. So I was so upset to find that it didn't convert to a double. I did know this, but when purchasing it, it wasn't in our plan to have a baby our second baby as close as we have right now so i wasn't even thinking about double buggies back then but inevitably it's something that we're having to think of now so absolutely love our mamas and papas acaro and i will be doing a bit of a comparison at the end of this video between this egg stroller that i've now got and the mamas and papas so you can kind of like weigh up your options and the pros and cons to each if you want a more in-depth video on that, then obviously check out those other videos. I'm going to be reviewing today is this egg double stroller. I will do a demonstration, my review, and then the comparison. Obviously, when no, when this baby's born, Novely will be 27-ish months. Obviously, depends when the baby comes. Around that. So she's at that stage where currently she does not go in the push shirt all that often. She will mainly walk places, but there will be times where she does need a buggy um, for like long walks or occasionally if she can need to nap out and about. To be honest, she I tend to give her her nap at home if I can in her cot because she only has one nap a day and she'll nap so much better in her, in her cot. Well, I say cot, she hasn't even in a cot anymore. She's in a big girl bed, but she'll nap so much better at home in bed. Like that nap is just elite. So if I can... I will do that and I haven't actually tried her napping within this this system yet and I have now switched over to this because I know again I think some people have picked up on that in one of my previous vlogs but that's purely just because I wanted to get used to the system and how it all worked before throwing a new baby in the mix and also I just don't have the storage to store two two prams and once I got this I kind of then had to to make the decision to, to switch to this. We did buy this second hand, so you might be able to see there are like a few little bits on here that aren't like brand new. There's a few little marks and things. I do still need to give it a good proper clean. Um, I haven't got around to doing that yet. It's in really, really good condition. You can see it's in this kind of like greeny khaki color. I will, if I can find it, online i will link it and i'll try and put in the description box what the color is but obviously i bought it second hand so i'm not entirely sure um and obviously everything that i'm going to go through in this review in this video i'll show you everything that came with it how we bought it but obviously it will differ online how you buy it and i'm pretty sure this is just the egg um i think they've bought an egg too out now i'm not sure but i think this is just the original egg they are quite expensive to buy new like you're probably looking about two grand to buy this whole thing new i would guess second hand was definitely the way we paid about 300 pounds for this so it was such a steal i had been doing research into double buggies and we had been to in store to try out a few but i was torn between a tandem one like this or a side by side one i feel like no matter what double buggy you go for it's going to be heavy it's going to be bulky and it's going to be big because it's a double you're fitting two children in it it's not going to be as slim and smooth and small as a single when like looking into things and trying things out i really didn't like pushing the side by side i felt like it was huge and it was just such a massive thing we tried the bugaboo donkey and then just like a, a standard like double like side by side and i just felt like they were massive and i wouldn't be able to fit through doorways very well or around shops and then another couple that we tried that were tandem was so long because they were really really spacious and i felt like 
I was pushing a train round or something. It was just too long. So I wanted something slightly more compact, but I also wanted something that I could use just as a single, because like I said, she doesn't use the buggy much anymore. And I think by the time the baby comes, she'll probably be using it even less. I wanted something that could be a single just for the baby and she would walk with me. Or we've also got a buggy board with this, which isn't something else that she will definitely use. But I also needed something that if we were out and about and we were out for a full day and she needed some time to rest that I could convert it to a double or if we were going on a really long walk she wouldn't be able to do the whole thing we needed to be able to put her in it as well as the baby and if there was a time that she ever needed a nap out and about so the great thing with this is we've got the option just quickly go through what we got within this so we've got two toddler seats we then obviously got the frame the cup holder the carry cot the buggy board and it also came with car seat adapters and two rain covers. So that's everything that we got with this. It obviously doesn't have a cosy toes. I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase one or not. I'm just going to see how it goes. To start with, I won't bother because the baby will be in the carry cot section. So we'll just snuggle up in blankets. And like I said, for the amount of time that nobody will use this anymore, I'll just wrap her up warm and put her blanket on her. So I might potentially purchase like a cosy toes for when the new baby is using this just in like the toddler seat and Novalee's not anymore, we'll see. That's what we got within this system. So I'll now show you how it all works and <laughs> folding it up, putting it down, putting them together, all that kind of thing. I'll also insert some pictures of like the configurations that you can have because there are definitely multiple ways you can have it. I will just say I'm still learning and I'm still trying to figure it out. I obviously haven't used this as a double out and about yet so it's not something I'm familiar with and I am so used to our Acaro that that just I don't even think about folding that up and doing it because it's just what I'm so used to whereas this is different so I might actually make it look harder than what it actually is. I will say that we do really like it and I'm really glad we've gone for it. This is the base it has like a one touch kind of click break so it kind of clicks on and off um, which is really nice really easy to use it has the pivot wheels at the front, so when you're kind of like turning around a corner, you, it turns really nicely. It also has an option on there to lock the wheels in place straight. Cup holder is on this side. Firstly, these are what the seats, the top of the seats look like, and they are really, really simple to just click on and off. Literally just slot it in. And then the straps on here, are adjustable just with the little pulley ties here and it just clips in at the bottom you've then got the two buttons here just to maneuver the footrest and there is like a little bit under here that you can like store stuff in if you want to and then obviously you can pull this up as well if their feet want to be more kind of straight than down the hood is really nice comes over like that and then if you want to recline this you just pull this lever at the top here and it then you can have it like lie flat and um, if your baby needs to sleep or whatever or you can I think there's three settings then it's kind of like half reclined or then completely upright I did also notice on the back here it has like this little net thing that untucks from under here and comes over so I'm assuming this is for like flying it I guess that goes over like this so it's kind of like a I don't think it darkens anything like a snooze show, but they can still see through it. But I guess it just helps the sun and stops any like bugs or flies or anything getting in there. So that's quite a nice little feature. The basket underneath as well. There's a lot of kind of access to the basket when there's just one on. To get it off, you just press the two buttons here and it does also can be in facing as well as while facing. And again, it just clips on really really easy then i'll just show you how i will obviously occasionally be using it when the baby comes so to use it as a double you get these attachments with it i always have to try and remember which way around they go on but they are really easy just to slip on it's just remembering how i do it <laughs> pretty sure the but the buttons go on this side and it has the egg writing on it so it kind of you can see it goes this way and it just usually just slots on the top like that. Again, no buttons, you have to push it, just slides in. 
and then you've basically got your two anchor points so you've got one here and one down here with the carry cot that goes on the bottom and it actually goes facing backwards which is a little odd but i think because you're looking from the top you'll still be able to see your baby really well and then the toddler one can just go on top i would probably have this one facing outwards because i'm pretty sure novi like would rather look around she obviously can't face the other way when the baby is in the bottom just because her feet would be over the baby so this is how it would be as a double uh, when the baby's really little and in the carry cot section it is really quite light as well like it pushes really nicely and it's not i mean it is obviously a little bit heavy but it's a lot lighter than some of the ones i looked at sorry i'm so out of breath really really nice to push so that's always positive just show you what it's like with two toddler seats as well and then you have to have the one on the bottom facing in and then this one would then just go on top like that so then you've got the two double section when obviously the baby's a little bit bigger I don't, I don't know how much I reuse it like this because I'm not sure once the baby's in this sort of seat whether nobody will even want to go in the push chair anymore. I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to have to see how it goes. But I've got the option, which is 100% what I need uh, when having two lilies. And you can recline them both if needed to, so if they both need a nap. Obviously, it would be a little bit awkward, I guess, if this one's reclined and needing a nap and this child isn't. But there's not much room here. But I feel like no matter what double buggy you get, if it's a Townsend one, they are going to be quite close together. There was another one that I did look at. Um, I think it was called the Upper Baby Vista. And that did seem like it had more space. But then, because it did have more space, it was just so massive to push. Like, it was so long. So there's definitely pros and cons to every double buggy. Like, I don't think any of them are perfect. I'm not going to lie, because they are double. They're bulky. They're quite annoying, to be honest. But... I really think for the little amount of time that I'm going to be using it, this will be fine. Um, I'll just have to plan who sits where if I'm thinking that. I'm assuming I'll probably put the younger one underneath because they'll probably want to nap more than Novely and not be as bothered as seeing out where she'll want to see out. This seat has the bar on it because this is like the main toddler seat and this second seat doesn't have the bar and isn't quite as... Um, I don't know what the word is. Luxurious is this one because this one has the extra foot bit as well as the the bar, whereas this one is the one just that slots in. So it's not quite as big. I think this one's ever been used actually. Uh, if you see what I mean, it hasn't got the extra bit there, but still, still lovely. Also, you can put a car seat on here as well. And I'm pretty sure I haven't got my car seat currently. It's in the loft at Tom's parents, the one that the baby will be using. But we have the Cybex Cloud Eye Size. I would probably do when, if nobody needs to just quickly go and push chair and I'm not going to be very long and I just want to put the baby in the car seat on here, you can just get the adapters and there you go, just slot onto the top. So that's really, really handy. And then this one can go on the bottom. I would imagine, looking at it now, it will have to go that way and then the car seat will sit on top. So obviously nobody could be looking at the baby. So that would be really sweet. So if I want to just pop the car seat on the top there, I can. And I can still have a seat for her also. You don't need it as a double off, so you just um, take these bits off. Then I'll just show you it as a single with the carry cot. So at times I will probably be using it like this um, when we go out and about for little walks and I will be honest, like I said, Nova doesn't go in the push chair all that much anymore. Even if we were, like we recently went to the zoo, she didn't even we took the push chair around with us and she didn't sit in it once. So she's basically, you know, she's starting to get to that age of not needing a push chair. But what I did get with it is a buggy board. This is the egg buggy board. And it just attaches onto the bottom, just slides on. And then she can stand on here and we can have the baby in there so she can obviously look at the baby. Um, I think it would actually be quite nice because she'll be able to hold on to this bit. Whereas if you have like the toddler seat on, she'd have to hold on to here. 
So I probably like tuck her in and stand on this bit so she can hold on to the carry cot and she can see the baby. I have practiced it a little bit with her um, on the buggy board and she's napping at the moment. So I might try and get her to do it in a minute to show you like, when she's awake. I think this is probably how I will be using it most of the time, I will be honest, because it's not like, this is a little bit hard to get out because you need two fingers. It's, like I said, it's not like I use the pusher very much at all anymore. So this is probably the way I will use it the most. But I definitely, definitely, definitely need that option to have it as a double. Folds up. So obviously the seats all stay whole as they are. They don't fold up any smaller. So you then just fold the base up. So I would probably take the buggy board off. I need to remember because I'm so used to my caro and how that folds up. I'm still learning how to do this one. But I'm pretty sure you get this. You twist it. I might put the brake on there. Oh yeah, also, if you want to just adapt and change the handles on here, you just twist this forward and it's got different height settings, which is really good. And then to fold it up, I believe you twist it the opposite way, kind of like clicks and the handle goes down. You can keep the cup folder on it and then you just grab the middle of the basket and fold it up and it just clicks into place. Sometimes you just have to move the wheels um, so they're flat. And then it just folds up like this. This base bit is actually not that heavy, really. Um, I found anyway, it's not too heavy. So it folds up like that. And as you can see, it does fold up really quite small. And to unfold it, there are two like release buttons you have to remember. On here for the handle, which you just do, and that will pop up. So another release at the bottom of the basket, which again, you just hold that and it will unclip like that and then i'm just gonna move the handle clip the link. i'm ready to go so it is really easy i think i made that probably look harder than it was but it's just getting used to a different style of push chair because they're all slightly different and they all fold up slightly differently and it is pretty simple and easy and quick especially once you get used to it a few of the differences that i have noticed between the acaro and the egg so the first thing is i think the seat on the acaro is slightly bigger which was something i was quite worried about when purchasing this because it just doesn't seem like the toddler seat is as long um and i'm i don't think it is as long however sitting overly in it she is quite petite and she was really happy and comfy actually to sit in this um i'll insert a photo of her sitting in this because she was so when we first got it she was so excited about it she really wanted to sit in it she just wanted to sit in it and watch TV and eat her lunch in it. So um, she was really happy with the purchase. There's not quite as much room. It is definitely shorter, but with folding this bit down, I feel like she can fit her legs on there. It will still last her hopefully long enough until she's outgrown it and not needing to use it anymore. And what she actually quite likes to do is like rest her legs on this bit. So she like puts her feet up here and puts her knees up and she finds like a really comfy position. So I'm not too worried about it, but it is definitely different. Another difference in the seat with the Mums and Papas Acaro is that what I loved about that one is the recliner came, it was like on a lever. So if the seat was like this, you would recline it and it would go back like this. Whereas obviously this is a seat and it just kind of like pivots. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be quite as comfortable for her to nap in. I haven't tried her napping in this one yet, just because, like I said, I tend to get her to nap at home. I mean, it's great that it still reclines and it still does look really comfy and it's obviously designed for them to fall asleep in. But I personally preferred the the way the mamas and papas one reclined. The color, I do really love the colour of this. It is beautiful and it's probably even more practical, especially for two children. But I did love the colourway of our Acaro. I love the way it looked. Again, I do really love the way this looks and it is a really premium, beautiful push chair. And this is such a stunning colour, but like beiges and stuff are my favourite. So I love the colourway of our Acaro, but that is obviously just personal preference for colouring. Difference with folding this up, I would say the base of the egg is smaller. It's more lightweight and it's just slightly slimmer. So when it folds up, it does fold up smaller than the Acaro, but 
you can't fold the seats up. So you've then got bulky seats to put on top of the base, whereas the Acaro seat folded up into the buggy itself, or you could take it up and it would fold in half. Whereas this, you just have to sit in the car as it is. It doesn't get any smaller, but the base of this is slightly smaller. The basket in the egg is a lot more shallow. The one in the Acaro is a lot deeper. But obviously because this is a double, you wouldn't want this too high because you wouldn't be able to fit anything in the basket with, with a lower a setting on here. Whereas at least this basket, with it being a double, I can still fit something in the front here of this basket. I'm pretty, I don't know if you can see this, but I think you'll understand what I'm saying. With the Acaro, when you folded it up, you couldn't have loads in the basket, but it folded up to keep some things in the bottom of your basket. Whereas with this egg, as you saw in the demo, you basically grab the middle of the basket and that's where it folds. So you cannot store anything in this when it's folded up in your car. So every time I will have to empty it. I mean, I don't keep a lot in the basket, but I probably keep the snooze shade in there and potentially like the lullaby sound system thing and a rain cover or two, depending how many children are in it at the time. But every time you will have to take that out and empty the basket when folding this up. Whereas with the Acaro, I would be able to keep those couple things in there because it would just fold up with it in it. The brake is different between them as well. So the Mamas and Papas one, you would flick down with your foot and then you'd have to put your foot underneath it and flick it back up again. Whereas this, you just push it both times. It clicks on and off. I think I actually prefer the brake on this one to the Acaro. The way the straps clip together and adjust are different as well. I would say it is actually a little bit harder to use on this one. Um, they both, both the Acaro and this have a button to detach this, which is really handy so you can get them in and out. But I would say that this is a little bit more awkward to kind of like adjust. It's hard to explain on the Acaro, but I feel like it just is slightly nicer to use on the Acaro. It doesn't feel like as tight and it just adjusts a little bit nicer. Whereas this takes a bit more fiddling around to get it right, I would say. For the adjust the the strap adjustment on the Acaro. The cup holder on this is a lot smaller, it's a lot more sturdy. So if I put a drink in here, I have previously mentioned it was a bit of a petty thing, but on the Acaro the cup holder is very wide, so it would wobble around a lot, whereas I can put a drink in here and it is very secure. However, it's a lot smaller, so I can't fit bigger drinks in here. And like the other day, I went to put my Starbucks cold iced latte in here and you couldn't I couldn't fit it in but again these are just like really petty things they're very similar in like the the wheels the push is very similar I might say that this egg is actually when it's a single not when it's a double but in comparison to the Acaro I would say it might be a little bit lighter to push and it definitely has a bit more suspension it's a bit more bouncy um it has the same wheels at the front which pivot or you can lock like this base is very similar. You can pull the handlebars up and down, which again, you can do on the Encaro. So they're not massively different and they both push, I would say pretty much the same um, in the sense of how easy they push. I haven't actually taken this over like a field anywhere really, really rough. I have my Encaro and it's great, but I feel like this pushes very similarly. So you can tell it's like a premium, more expensive, sturdy, travel system it's not like cheap and rickety and and fall apart so they're both very on par in that sense i would say and obviously the major major downfall with the acaro is the fact it doesn't convert to a double so please mums and papas make it make it so you can convert it to a double because it would obviously cater for so many more families then and we wouldn't have had to now purchase this i would have definitely stuck with my acaro if it had if it had switched to a sing to a double but it doesn't so I would say this is, is really close second, if not on par. Obviously take this as a pinch of salt, it is personal preference. You have seen me faff around and fold up and use both. And I can't say for this for certain because I haven't used it frequently as a double. I've just sort of played around with it. I obviously haven't got two babies yet. I can't tell you exactly. If you're interested, I can do like an updated version of this and touch on like what I've actually been using it and what I found good and not so good about it. It is all down to personal preference and I would really recommend going to try a couple out, see what you like and it obviously depends on your lifestyle. I am really really happy with it, really pleased. This is potentially a little bit easier to get on and off the frame whereas the seat on the Acaro was a little bit harder because you had to use two hands 
you have to like push and slide a button to release it whereas these are just two push buttons and they do come off really really easy so this is probably easier to take off than the Acaro one but I didn't take the seat off the Acaro all that often because I used it I folded it up within it I think the hoods are pretty similar the Acaro one might have come down maybe a touch more um, but not really and I think the Acaro one had a vent on it whereas this hasn't got a vent on the hood so in all as a review of this as a double buggy I really really like it um it's easy to push it's easy to fold and put away it's not too heavy um there's a lots of different ways you can use it it's not the most spacious it is a little bit more compact which is good for you know pushing it around fitting it into spaces but maybe there's not as much room for the two children as some of the other ones I don't know but generally I'm really happy with it and it's a really lovely system as a single and as a double. But I think I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys have found this helpful and if you're in the market for a double buggy then this is obviously what we've gone for. I would definitely recommend as well having a look on like Facebook marketplace and things like that if you are wanting to buy something second hand get a little bit cheaper. Like I said, um, we've got so much included in this and um, it was a really, really good deal. Really good condition. Um, I just need to kind of wipe it and clean it up a little bit. But other than that, it's you know nearly as good as new. And we have saved lots and lots of pennies doing it this way. Really sorry I didn't have the car seat to show you that, but I've, I will have inserted the pictures so you can see it also in action. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you coming to join me and watching my videos it's um i can't believe how quickly my channel is growing at the minute so um yeah i really appreciate all your support it really does mean the world to me enjoy the rest of your week and i will see you in my next one bye